Hello everyone! Welcome to Teacher Frail TV! Our subject for today is English for Quarter 3, Week 2 Milk Base Let's learn about Writing directions using signal words At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Write directions using signal words Hello kids! Today, we are going to learn about Writing directions using signal words There are always directions to be followed to avoid mistakes and accidents Directions may be given in doing something how how to make simple things or activity, how to use things or objects, and how to find places. In other words, directions are guides. Once followed properly, they give positive results. Read and follow the set of directions in washing your hands properly. Steps in proper hand washing First, go to your kitchen and find the sink. Second, wet your hands with warm water. Next, get a soap to get rid of germs. Then, scrub front and back of your hands while singing the song Happy Birthday to You. Afterward, rinse with water. Finally, dry your hands with a clean towel. The words first, next, then, and lastly are called signal words. Signal words are used in giving the order of the directions. These are called sequence words. These are the two words that signal what is the next step to follow. They are used in giving three to four steps directions. Directions provide a guide on how to perform an action or to finish an action. Giving and following directions are not only used when locating a certain spot, it can also be found when drinking a doctor's prescribed medicine, accomplishing simple household chores that your parents ask you to do, performing a simple science experiment, and any other activities. Hence, directions are very important because they tell people the things they need to know and how to do a certain task properly and in an orderly manner. Here are some suggestions to follow when writing directions. Direction must always be clear. The sentences must come in an order that makes sense. Make sure to include all necessary information. Use signal words like first, next, then, afterward, lastly, and finally. And now, let's do the first activity. Learning Task 1 Number the sentences in the order a sandwich is made. What will be the number 1 in the following steps? Very good! Number 1 is First, she spread peanut butter on one slice of bread. Number 2 Next, she spread jelly on another slice of bread. Number 3 is after spreading the jelly, she put the two slices of bread together. And number four, finally, she ate it. Let's move to learning task two. Fill in the blanks with the correct signal words to complete the directions. Choose your answers from the given choices inside the parentheses. How to make a rainbow picture. Let's read each sentences in the paragraph, then choose the given choices inside the parentheses. It is fun to make a rainbow picture. First, lastly, prepare the materials like bond paper, crayons, and a pencil with sharp point. So what will be the correct answer? Is it first or lastly? Very good! The correct answer is... First, 
Second, finally, choose crayons other than black to make a design. So what will be the correct answer? Very good! Second. Lastly, third, cover the design with black crayons. What will be the correct answer? Is it lastly or third? Very good! Third. Next, finally, use a pencil to draw a picture and to remove some black crayon. What will be the correct answer? Is it next or finally? Very good! Next. Lastly, next, hang your picture on your wall. What will be the correct answer? Lastly or next? Very good! Lastly. How to prepare calamansi juice? It is easy to make calamansi juice. First, lastly, wash five calamansi fruits. So what will be the correct answer? Is it first or lastly? Very good! First. Second, finally, cut them in the middle crosswise. What will be the correct answer? Is it second or finally? Very good! Second. Lastly, third, squeeze the cut calamansi into a glass. What will be the correct answer? Is it lastly or third? Very good! Third. Next, finally, remove the seeds. What will be the correct answer? Is it next or finally? Very good! Next. Lastly, next, add sugar and water and stir well until sugar dissolves. What will be the correct answer? Lastly or next? Very good! Lastly. Now you can enjoy a nutritious drink. Learning Task 3 Fill in the blanks with the correct signal words to complete the directions. Nolly has skin rashes on his left arm. He went to see the doctor and he was given a bottle of ointment. This is what the doctor told him. What is the missing signal words? Blank Wash the affected part with soap and water. What will be the answer? Correct! First, wash the affected part with soap and water. For the second blank, shake the bottle very well. What will be the signal word? Very good! Second, blank, apply the ointment thinly on the affected part and wrap it with a piece of clean cloth. What will be the signal word? Very good! Third. And for the last blank, keep the bottle tightly closed. What will be the signal word? Very good! Lastly. Learning Task 4. Look at the pictures and write 2 to 3 step directions using signal words. Making paper collage is a fun activity. Blank, collect pictures from magazines and cut into different shapes made from colored paper. For the first blank, it should be First Blank, get a large sheet of drawing paper. So what will be the signal word for the second blank? Very good! Second Blank, on the large sheet of paper, place the paper shapes and pictures in a pattern you like. What will be the signal word for the third blank? Very good! Should be third. Blank, glue the paper shapes and pictures the way you place them on the paper. What will be the signal word for the fourth blank? Very good! It should be next. Blank, Hang your collage up on a wall. This will surely show how creative you are. So what will be the signal word for the last blank? Very good! <coughs> Lastly, for learning task 5, arrange the set of activities on how to cook rice. Do not forget to include the signal words in writing directions. 
Write your answers in your notebook. Here are the choices for making steps. So what will be the first step? Very good! First, measure the desired amount of rice to be cooked. What will be the second step? Very good! Second, put the rice in the cooking pot and wash it. What will be the third step? Very good! Third, place the cooking pot on the stove. Next, what will be the fourth step? Very good! Next, turn on the gas stove. Lastly, check to see if the rice is already cooked. Learning Task 6 Letter A, read and understand the situation below. Write your answers in your notebook. The dentist said that you should brush your teeth at least three times a day. You have a younger brother who wants to brush his teeth too. It is his first time to brush his teeth all by himself. You know that he needs assistance because he is still young. List down below your directions on how to brush the teeth properly. First, put a small amount of toothpaste. Next, brush your teeth using up and down stroke. Then, brush the surface of your tongue. Finally, rinse out your mouth using water. For learning task 6, letter B, create your own paper airplane. List down below the steps on how to make a paper airplane. Write your answers in your notebook. Here are the steps. First, fold the paper in half lengthwise and then unfold. Second, fold the top two corners down so they meet the center crease. Third, flip the plane over and fold the corners in again to the center crease. Fourth, Fold the top point down so that the tip meets the bottom of where the previous folds come together. Next, fold the entire plane in half in on itself. Lastly, fold the wings down so that you are making a straight line across from the top of the snub nose. Next, for learning task 7, read and understand the situation carefully. Your cousin, who is currently living in Batangas City, sent you a message through Facebook Messenger. She was telling you about all the beautiful places that you can find in her province. She also heard about a nice place in Quezon which is called Kamaini Jesus. She was hoping if you could give her the directions so that she could visit that place one day. Write down below your response to her on how to get to Kamay ni Jesus. Take note of the signal words that you need to use in giving directions. First, from SLEX, take Calamba exit. Drive towards Calamba City proper, then turn right at the junction. Second, head straight on the highway passing by Los Baños, Bay, Victoria, Pila, Santa Cruz, and Pagsanhan. Third, once you get to Pagsanhan Church, turn right going to Louisiana Town. Next, head straight again towards Lukban, Quezon. Lastly, the shrine with its highly visible large statue is about a kilometer from Lukban Town proper. And for our last activity, Learning Task 8, Read the following topics. Choose one and write the instructions on how to do it. Write the directions in paragraph form using signal words. Choose from the following. Number one, how to clean an aquarium. Number two, how to fry an egg. Or number three, how to transplant seedling from a plant box to the ground. We are going to choose how to clean an aquarium. First, remove algae from the glass. Second, clean the decorative pieces in the tank. Third, clean the gravel. Fourth, turn off the equipment in the tank. Fifth, replace the water in the tank. 
Next, clean the exterior of the tank. Lastly, clean the filter. Remember, directions are very important because they tell people the thing they need to know and how to do a certain task properly and in an orderly manner. The words first, next, then, and lastly are called signal words. Signal words are used in giving the order of the directions. These are called sequence words. These are the words that signal what is the next step to follow. They are used in giving 3 to 4 steps directions. So kids, did you understand our topic today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learned a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!